This video is brought to you by Filmora. Filmora Screen Recorder is the best way for gamers and YouTubers alike to capture gameplay and record their screen with face cam, audio, and professional tools with up to 120 frames per second at 1080p. Check it out now by clicking the link in the description below. So that if we go ahead and do slash time set night, voila, we have an actually working paper lantern in Minecraft. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is EY Stream and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now today, I'm going to be showing you eight secret things you can make in your very own Minecraft world, either if you're playing on Pocket Edition, Console Edition, so you can make this on PS3, PS4, Xbox, Wii U, Switch, or just, you know, on PC Edition. You can make these things in any version of Minecraft, and these are eight secret things you probably didn't know you can make, or, you know, might have forgotten you can make in Minecraft. So, yeah, before we get into today's video, and I show you guys how you can make these really, really, really cool things, you guys already know what time it is. It is a like old time. Make sure to go down there and smash that like button if you are excited for today's video and if you guys want to learn something new. So make sure to go ahead, leave a like. We're going to try and, try and reach 1,000 likes on today's video. So make sure to go ahead, click, 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 click that like button with with your hand or with, with whatever you're using to click the like button with your mouse. I, I don't know. Whatever you guys are using with your controller. Um, and, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell icon to never miss an upload. And, of course, guys, if we do hit that like goal, I will be adding some people to my Minecraft realm. So if you want to be added to that, make sure to go ahead, subscribe, turn notifications on, and leave your gamer tag in the comment section below, but I'll only be adding people if we hit 1,000 likes. So make sure to not let the team down, guys, and hit that like goal. So let's get into today's video. So the number one thing we're going to be making that you guys probably didn't know you could make, oops, sorry, I glitched out for a minute, um, is... Um, actually, a really, really cool stove design that basically allows you to have a stove that technically works. So to build this stove, you are going to go ahead, you're going to need a furnace, you're going to need quartz blocks. We're going to go ahead and use some terracotta blocks here. We'll go, ah, I can't spell. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're going to need to go ahead, get some cyan terracotta, personally, I like. And then we're going to go ahead, grab some iron weighted pressure plates. Oopsie daisies. Weighted pressure plates, these iron ones here. Then you want to go ahead, grab some iron trapdoors. You're going to need to go and grab some quartz stairs. And finally, some redstone torches. I believe that is all you are going to need to go ahead and craft this epic stove um, design. So what you want to want to do first is put your furnaces in a 2x2 two two area, like so. Then you can go ahead and put quartz on either side, like so. Oh, one last thing. We are going to need birch. You don't have to use birch, but personally, I think it looks the best for the flooring design. Then we're going to go ahead, dig this out. And you want to go ahead and dig this one, just one down. Then you want to go ahead, put two redstone torches there, and you can cover it with whichever block you want to use as the flooring. Personally, I think birch looks really nice for this particular stove design. And then you want to go ahead, put your iron trapdoors there. And as you can see, they will come straight away up because of the redstone torches down here. So we can destroy that. That's going to come down. But you want to go ahead and make sure those redstone torches are down there to go ahead and make sure these iron trapdoors are facing up towards your furnaces. Then you want to go ahead and place iron um, weighted pressure plates on top of all your furnaces to make them look like stove tops, which I think looks really, really cool. Then you can go ahead and we're going to put cyan terracotta on these sides like this. Um, we're going to do this. And we're going to put one there. And we're just going to kind of build this up just a little bit as if these are the walls of your house. Uh, we'll put quartz here. And then we're going to go ahead and put quartz stairs to make it kind of look like, um, you know, the little roof thing that goes over your stove that, you know, blows out air. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called the hood for your stove. And we're just going to put that there to make it look as if that is part of our stove. And that looks really, really, really cool. But the best part about it is it actually still works, which is really, really, really cool, I think, in my opinion. Because you can go ahead, and if we go ahead and grab, I don't know, some coal here. We go ahead, grab some pork. We can actually still use all of these furnaces as if they were functioning, as if they were functioning like a stovetop. Because you can open them up and you can still put in your food and your furnace. And as you can see, it'll start cooking down there. And yeah, it looks really cool because you get this cool oven, furnace, stove top type thing that actually still works. And as you can see, look at that, we've got our cooked pork chop. I think it's a really cool design. And of course, if you guys want to, you know, spruce it up a little bit, you can put like, I don't know, let's grab some buttons actually. We'll grab up some buttons, 
and we'll grab that lever. You can put like some buttons down here just to make sure they kind of look like the buttons that you have inside of the stove to, you know, ignite the stove. You can put them down on either side and you can kind of decorate this area to make it look like a kitchen. But yeah, this is a really cool stove top design that actually works in Minecraft. So that is build number one for today. Now build number two is actually, um, is actually a really cool chair design in my opinion. It's a couch that allows you to sit down. So we're gonna go ahead, grab, um, you can pretty much use any blocks you guys want, but I'm going to be using uh, some blue, I'm thinking concrete, some blue concrete. Um, blue concrete, blue concrete, there it is. We're gonna use blue concrete, um, and I'm also going to use quartz here. So we'll grab some blue concrete and some quartz. I'm gonna actually terracotta. What, what kind of nah? We're gonna use blue concrete and quartz. And actually, I'm gonna clear my inventory, guys, just so you guys can um get the idea. So blue concrete, you can use any block once again. Quartz, you can use any block you want. Again, these are pretty much just up to your preferences. That the ones you are going to need is you are going to need pistons here. You're going to need some sort of redstone um, activator, so redstone torch, redstone block, lever doesn't really matter. And you're going to need to grab some rails and a minecart. All right, let's grab our minecart there. And that's all you're going to need to make this cool chair. So to build this, firstly, you want to build out, you know, just kind of like a normal chair area. And as you can see, look at that. There's our couch. But the problem is, is we can't actually sit in it. So I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. So what you want to do is put rails right in front of here. Then you want to go ahead. Oh, wrong spot. <laughs> we want to put... I think, yeah, uh, how do I do it? How do I do it? I've forgotten. All right, yeah, rails here, <laughs> minecart there. Then you want to go ahead, destroy this rail, and then you want to just ever so slightly nudge the minecart off this rail. Then you go ahead, oh, whoopsie daisies, we can destroy that. You want to destroy that rail as well, so that you have this minecart that's in the middle. Then you want to go ahead, put quartz slabs like slow, like so in front of our minecart, and we're going to go ahead and put a piston right there right there and we can go ahead and you want to grab redstone blocks here we can activate those two pistons and as you can see that's going to push our minecart into our couch then we go ahead destroy those we want to put two more pistons bang and bang bang and activate them once again and as you can see guys the quartz slabs have actually been pushed inside the minecart and the minecart is sticking out inside our couch now what this allows for is we can actually go ahead and check this out guys we can come in and um we can go ahead and sit inside our couch which is really really cool look at this guys we can actually sit inside our couch and it looks as if we are sitting on a couch which i think is a really cool way um to make sure that you have a working couch in minecraft personally i think that's really 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 cool and kind of cute as well you know, it actually works, um, besides for our legs sticking out through the couch, which is a little strange. But yeah, it does work perfectly well, and uh, I think it's a really, really cool way of, you know, pulling off the couch. So our next build, build number three, is a cupboard that you can build in Minecraft that uses chests, and you can build it, like, above or below. So to build this, we're going to go ahead. You guys can use any type of wood you want, but I'm going to use uh, spruce wood. Then you want to go ahead and use the corresponding door. So for spruce wood, we're going to use the spruce door, obviously. You're going to need to, of course, grab your chest for the cupboard. And I'm going to use, I don't know, some... Ooh, I'm going to use some carpet here. You are going... It doesn't really matter what color carpet you use. I'm actually going to use a light gray carpet here. And to build this, what you want to do is kind of build out a cabinet. So we're going to do this. Then you want to go ahead, dig like so. Put chests like that on top of each other. And put a door here and a door here. So it should look something like that. Then you want to go ahead and actually cover this area with carpet. So you can sneak here, just go ahead, place carpet like so, place that over like that. And then you want to go ahead and we're going to fill this in with spruce as well and cover this back area with light gray carpet as well. So if we fill this in, bang, bang, and bang, bang, bang. And as you guys can see, this actually functions as a working cupboard inside your Minecraft house. So you can go ahead, open these doors, and in here are these two large chests which you can go ahead and store anything you want. Which I think this has actually been around for quite some time, but a lot of people have forgotten that you can actually use this to make really cool looking cupboard designs. You can have cupboards down the bottom, but you can also have cupboards around the top. So if we go ahead and we kind of, you know, build this out here and build up. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I, I keep miss- ah, I keep misclicking. Wow, I'm really bad today. My hand-eye coordination is not working. So we can go ahead, build this up kind of like that, and you can go ahead and really design this how you want. I'm gonna go ahead, place like so. Um, we're going to do that, uh, and then I'm gonna build one up. 
And then I'm also going to do this. So we'll go ahead and build like so. And that's kind of like, you know, just a nice little section here. So if this is a wall, then you can go ahead and actually build and put cupboards inside this section as well. So you can actually go ahead. Look at that. You can put doors like that. And then we can go ahead and um, we can put, if we go ahead, because this is coming out like so, we can actually go ahead and put chests here as well. So if we go ahead and do that, come down, not only do we have chests underneath here for our underneath cupboard, but we also have chests up there, which are also really, really cool. So you guys can have chests up there, chests down here, and build these really cool in-wall cupboards, which I personally think look really, really cool and are a nice way to hide away chests that still looks really, really nice. So yeah, those are our cupboard design. Our next design um, is going to be for build number four is going to be a really, really cool kind of a, I don't know, how would you call it? It's a nice little bush design. A bush design, I guess so. And it's a really cool way of making, um, making little, you know, making little plant designs in your build. So you're going to need leaves, obviously. Then we're going to need to go ahead, you're going to need armor stands here. You're going to want to go ahead and grab pistons. Then you want to go ahead and grab some redstone blocks, or you can use redstone torches or levers, doesn't really matter. And then we're going to use grass or whatever your block of choice is. And then a fence, finally, but not least. So we're going to go ahead. What you want to do is dig one block down, dig two up with dirt or whichever block you want to use. And you want to place down armor stands and you can kind of move around here. What you want to do is make sure these armor stands are facing in different directions to kind of create this effect. Then once you've done that, you want to build up a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and do a double piston system. So you've got two pistons. You want to put whatever block you want in the ground there. Then place a redstone block here, place a redstone block here. And voila, look at that. The dirt has filled in. So you should have something that looks like that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and um, destroy that, put another double piston system, and this time put a fence. Then you go ahead and bang, and you can destroy that. And look at that, guys. That's actually going to put a fence on top of our armor stands. Then we can go ahead and put some oak leaves like so. We can destroy this. And look at this, guys. It looks really, really it kind of looks like a cool little stand for, um, you know, a nice little hedge. It kind of looks like a pot plant, but a little bit bigger. And I think it's just a really cute kind of design to use in your modern build and stuff that looks like it's a plant stand or plant pot or, you know, it just looks nice. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So that's a small little build there for build number four. Now, build number five is a beach umbrella, which is, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. And to do this, you're going to need to go ahead. We'll clear our inventory once again. Whoopsie daisies, I can't spell today. <laughs> there we go, clear our inventory. We're going to go ahead, grab some fences. You want to go ahead, grab some beds. Um, and for the beds, you can go ahead. I personally like to choose red, uh, pink. Oh, no, we're going to go pink, not magenta. Um, light blue and yellow. These are my personal favorites for this one. Then you go ahead, place your fences like so. Um, I'm going to say four high is probably the best way to go. You want to go ahead, grab... We're actually going to do... Ooh. Yeah, we're going to do that. And you want to put a wood or an oak block on top. Then you can go ahead and actually place your beds like... Oh, we're going to need to go ahead. Fill this whole entire area in with oak. There we go. Then you want to go ahead and put one bed here. And we're going to go ahead and put one bed there. And one bed there. Okay, nope. This one needs to face this way, guys. You want to make sure the whites aren't touching each other. There we go. So it should look something like that. And then finally, you place your yellow bed there. And look at that, guys. You have this cool-looking, colorful beach, uh, beach umbrella design. You can go ahead and destroy these underneath. And ta-da! You have your very own beach umbrella. And it looks really, really cool. You can pretty much use any block you want in the middle there. I'm thinking quartz might look nice. I'm not sure here, guys, but we'll try anyway. There we go, quartz looks pretty nice, and as you can see, you've got like these colors around here with the beds, and you've got like these white lines, which look really cool, and then underneath, you have the actual umbrella section, you can go ahead, you know, put down a nice little bed to, you know, rest in the sunshine, um, and you imagine this is being on a beach, and yeah, this is a really cool way to, you know, kind of decorate your, your sandy area, or, you know, make like a beach design, or if you want to actually use this, um, in a pool design that would also look really nice but as you can see there we go that is our beach umbrella design so that is build number five let's move on to build number six all right guys so for build number six today you're going to need to go ahead we're going to make a really cool paper lantern design so to build this guys you are going to need to go ahead you're going to need four orange banners 
Well, I accidentally took five. <laughs> You're going to need a crafting table, and if you're on Pocket Edition or console, make sure to turn on Classic Crafting um, from your settings. Then you want to go ahead. You're going to need to grab some daisies. You're going to need four of those. You're going to need red dye, so we'll go ahead and grab that. You're going to need orange dye. You're going to need a bunch of ink sacks as well. And I believe that's all you're going to need, I think. No, we're also going to need some bricks. Make sure not to forget those. Once you've done that, put down your crafting table. Then you want to go ahead and in your crafting table, put down the orange banners down here. You want to put uh, four red dye, like so, in an upside down Y shape to create a red-orange gradient banner. Once you've done that, you can grab four of those. And as you can see, that's going to create our red base gradient. You want to go ahead, put that in the middle, put bricks down here and some ink sacks down. Nope, wrong one. You want to put orange dye down there. That's going to give you um, kind of like, if we go ahead, open up our inventory. That's going to give you like this orange red banner kind of design here. I'm actually thinking I might have done that wrong. No, no, I quite like that. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to, hmm, let's just have a look at that. Nah, actually, you can do it like that, but personally, I actually think that, um... It actually looks nicer if you go ahead. I'm going to just show you another way you can do this because I actually think it might look nicer. If we go ahead, open it up, put the orange banners in. We d Why do I keep grabbing five? We only need four. We'll do this again. So you want to go ahead, create that red gradient. Like so. And bang, bang, bang. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, finish that, put that in the middle. And instead of using orange dye, you can go ahead and use red dye and your bricks. And I think that's actually going to create a much nicer brick banner. So if we go ahead and open that up. Let's see what that looks like. Just take a quick look at that. Yeah, I personally think this one looks better, but it's totally up to you guys. You can either use the orange or the red. So for reference, that's what they both look like. I personally like the red one better. Once you've done that, you go ahead and we're going to keep using the red one here. You want to go ahead, put that in the middle. You want to put dandelions and you want to go ahead and put um, orange dye like so. And that's going to give you this type of orange banner with kind of like... Um, a dandelion in the middle there or a daisy I keep calling it dandelion but it is in fact a daisy so once you've done that finally the last step is to go ahead put that in the middle and surround the entire banner with ink sacks so we'll go ahead do that like so finish that and voila we have this really really cool looking banner and this is actually going to be used to make our paper lantern so once you've done that you go ahead you're going to need some sort of you can really hang this from whatever I'm just gonna put some oak wood here get some oak and grab some oak planks and we're going to build this up all right you want to do that then we're gonna use like so one two three one uh, one two three and we'll build up like there Oh, I would get one block off, guys. There we go. And you want to go ahead. You're also going to need fence now. And you're going to need a redstone um, lantern. And finally, a lever. So we'll grab that as well. Then you can go ahead, place an oak fence under here. And then grab a redstone lantern. Press your lever and put that under there. Then you want to go ahead and put your banners hanging from every single side of our redstone lamp. And voila, you have a really cool looking paper lantern design. And if we go ahead, just sneak in here, you can actually turn on your lantern so that if we go ahead and do slash time set night, voila, we have an actually working paper lantern, which I think is really, really neat, really, really cool, and um, is a really cool way to decorate your house. So we'll go ahead slash time set day. All right, so build number seven, guys, is a is a gallows build. So if you guys don't know what gallows are, it's basically um, where you hang people, where they used to hang people back in the olden days. And this is a gallows design that actually works inside Minecraft, which is, I think is really, really cool. So we're gonna go ahead, grab our spruce fence here. Um, you can really use whichever block you want. I'm going to be using spruce just for this entire design because I think it kind of looks cool. Um, spruce, spruce. You're going to need to go ahead, grab a cactus and obviously some sand for that cactus to grow on. And then you want to go ahead and um, I believe we're going to need one trapdoor. And that's pretty much all you're going to need for this gallows design. So you want to go ahead, put spruce like spru spruce fences like so. Uh, we're just going to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Nope, that needs to be just there. All right. And one there. Then you want to put spruce logs on top of these fences like so. Bang, bang, bang. And this is actually going to form our platform. So we go ahead, fill this in with spruce slabs. Bang. And we'll fill this entire area with spruce slabs. And this is going to be our hanging platform, I guess you could call it. Fill that in. You can really make this as big as you want. I've made mine quite big. 
And then you want to go ahead and right in the middle here, you want to go ahead and dig down and put a sand block here and a cactus. So this is going to be what people die on when they fall from the gallows here. And then we go ahead and you can put stairs leading up to the gallows. So we go ahead, we'll place one like so, like so. And that is going to be like a little stairway up top to the gallows. Then you want to go ahead and we're going to also need just a regular spruce block. So we'll grab that. Put that there. Then put a trapdoor like so. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and kind of put fences around here where the gallow is going to be. And you just want to kind of build up. It doesn't really matter how high you want this to be. I'm going to kind of build it around here. And we'll build up like this. Alright, um, and we'll fill this side in. And bang, that is going to be our gallows design. So basically, when somebody hangs on here, we're just going to grab a lever. And we'll chuck the lever on behind here. And basically, you can hang an animal and then let go and they are going to fall onto that cactus. A working gallows you can actually hang animals from the top here and they will fall and die on the cactus so I think this is a really cool design it's kind of morbid but you know it's really really cool I personally like it quite a bit and cu finally coming to our final build of the day build number eight is a really cool computer design now to build this you can pretty much use whichever blocks you want doesn't really matter but personally I'm gonna be using birch and quartz then you want to go ahead we're going to need an iron trapdoor, a lever, you're going to want to go ahead and we're actually going to need some quartz stairs, pistons, something to activate those pistons, so in this case we're just going to use a redstone block, an armor stand, and a chain mail helmet, and I'm pretty sure that's all you're going to need. So we're going to go ahead, put our birch down like so, this is going to be our table, then we're going to put quartz on either side. Then we're going to need an iron trapdoor right there. We're going to put a lever under here. We need to actually make sure it faces in this direction like so. We can destroy that. And that's going to be our computer screen. Then we need to create some sort of keyboard design. So to do this... Uh, oh, whoopsie daisies. We're going to need to put that. There we go. To do this, you're going to need to put an armor stand. You want to put a chainmail helmet like so. Then you want to put whatever block. Build a double piston system, which you guys have seen quite a bit of this episode. Bang and bang. You want to go ahead, redstone, oopsie daisies, <laughs> I missed one important step, you need to put your block of choice right there, then you can go ahead, piston, piston, bang, bang, and I've, I've messed that up, we need to actually go one block higher, there we go, one, two, then your birch, bang, bang, and voila, that's actually going to cover up our chainmail helmet, as you can see, it actually creates this really cool keyboard design in front of our computer screen which I think is really neat then you go ahead we're going to need a few more things which I couldn't fit in my inventory earlier a painting a button and some we're going to need a birch stair and some signs as well so go ahead do that you put in painting on front of here that is your computer screen you can go ahead and put uh, birch stairs there you can put a sign on this side and a sign on this side and that's going to be our chair and we'll put a button there that's our mouse and voila you have a really cute little computer working station with an actually working keyboard which i think is really really neat i really like that so those are our top eight secret builds for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed learning about these different things you can build inside minecraft if you learned something new make sure to smash that like button and of course if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more epic minecraft pocket edition content and until next time guys it was your out Pick up diamonds, craft those diamonds, make some armor, get it baby, go and forge that like you so MLG Pro, the sword's made of diamonds, so come at me bro, huh? Training in your room under the torch light, home that phone to get you ready for the big fight. Every single day in the home, like creepers out prowling. Alright, look at me, look at you, take my revenge, that's what I'm gonna do.